So I want to create a quick video on how to use group level project templates, how to set up some templates and then use them to create new projects that have configurations already set. This is going to make it easier for new teams getting started. And they don't have to go and, and set up everything from scratch. Um, the first thing we need to do is go to our top level namespace for our subscription. And for me, that's Julie Byrne demo. And then we need to create a subgroup. Um, it needs to be a direct subgroup of our top level group. In this case, I've already created one called Julie Demo Templates. This is going to be the subgroup where all of our template projects will live for users that want to create projects from templates to choose them and use them for their own projects. Now, in this subgroup, all of the users who are going to use the templates within the subgroup need to have at least guest um, membership in the subgroup itself and in the project. So if you have um, everybody is added to guest as your top uh, to your top level group, um, those permissions should be inherited down all the um, through the sub hierarchy to the project. So you should be okay. But if you don't have that set up and have a different configuration instead, then you're going to want to be a little bit careful and make sure that you give permissions um, to people to see all of the projects in, um, that's not the right one, in the Julie demo templates in this case, whatever subgroup you've created, um, where you're going to store template projects for those users to use. Okay, they need to have at least guest membership in each project. Um, so after we create the, the group that we're going, the subgroup that we're going to store the templates in, then we can go ahead and create some new projects. So we would navigate to that group, create a new project. And this would allow us to choose a specific uh, template uh, or to configure a set of template projects to use um, for new projects that users are creating after the fact. All right, so we, I've already created one um, called Julie Demo Template Project. So here it is, but you can create as many of these templates as you want to, just all as new projects in GitLab. Um, for this particular example, I've just created a full, an examples folder with some um, stuff in it and a readme file. And I've also created a couple of branches, I think a developed branch in this case, um, so that we can use Git flow instead of GitLab flow. And if that's what you want to do, you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, this is going to work just like import works. Um, so if you have issues that are pre-created, those issues are going to get copied when people create a new project from this template. Um, any code, any branches, like I said, that will automatically get created as well. The other thing that we can do is we can go ahead and set some project level settings. And some of these settings will get copied over, but not all of them. So just be careful about that. Um, in our particular case, what we want to take advantage of is using protected branches. And I've already gotten some protected branches set up here. I've set the develop branch to be a protected branch that developers and maintainers can uh, merge to and push to. And I have our master branch set up so that maintainers only can merge and push to that. I also have a wildcard set up. So as new branches are created in this project that match this release dash something wildcard, um, then those will automatically be protected as well. These will get copied over as part of the project template. Not everything gets copied over, so just be careful. And the one thing we're gonna point out very specifically is this default branch. Here, since we're using Git flow, we set develop to be our default branch instead of master. Um, this will not get copied as part of the template, so we'll need to get reset again. And I'll put some links to the documentation so we can, so you can take a look at what gets copied or not as part of the template. Okay, so we've created a subgroup that's a, a subgroup that's direct subgroup of our top level group. We've created some projects within that subgroup that are template projects that now new teams can use to create their own projects um, with the configurations that we want those teams to use. Now, the next thing we're going to do is actually um, configure our top level group to use this Julie Demos template as the group where all of our template projects exist. Okay, so we have to set that up. I've already done it in this case, but I'll walk you through how you would do that. From the top level group, go to settings and go to general. And then we will see custom 
project templates. If you expand that, here is where you choose the subgroup that will be used as um, the folder, if you will, for all of the project templates that you've created. Then go ahead and save that. You need to configure this or else people will not see any templates um, as they go and create new projects. All right, once all of that's done, new teams come in, they will work in their appropriate subgroup within the top level group. So in this case, I've just created a subgroup called projects from template just to have one place where um, all these projects are getting created as I'm doing this testing. And under the subgroup, I can now go ahead and create a new project. I want to choose create from template. Now there's three types of templates that GitLab offers. Um, there are built-in templates. These are all of the you know, source you know, application specific templates that you can use. Um, if you did want to provide uh, custom templates based on these application templates, when you created those template projects in that template folder, you would just start with one of these templates um, and then add configurations and files and branches to it um, and then save it as something like custom Ruby on Rails. Um, but it won't show up in the built-in templates list at this point. It's going to show up as group templates. So anything in that folder and that subgroup that you've specified as your templates folder, those are going to show up. Um, those projects will show up under group templates. Okay, so you can build off of the existing templates to create new ones as group templates for your group. Just a side note on gitlab.com, there are no instance level templates. We only have group templates and built in templates. Okay, so instance level templates are only for self managed instances of GitLab. Here we can see the template project that exists under our Julie demo templates subgroup. And we can choose to use this template to create our new project. Uh, call it project from template. And go ahead and create. Once this project is created, we will see that the repository has the same um, folders and files in it. The same directory structure, same uh, code or files that you've created, and the same branches that were created in the template project. In our case, the develop branch and the master branch. Notice that we can see develop and master are both protected branches because those protected rules uh, were applied. So if I go to our settings of our new project and go to repository, the protected branches. Um, all three of those branches, the two branches and the one wildcard, are automatically copied from that template project. But as I pointed out earlier, our default branch does not get copied. So it's been reset to master. So we would have to go back in and manually set this to develop. Uh, there might be some APIs that you can use to, to set that through a scripted fashion as well if you wanted to. Um, but we can go ahead for now and set this uh, manually. Okay, so this is going to make it easier for new teams as they're starting out to give them some structure that um, has some of the you know, branches and, and structure that they want, some of the compliance needs uh, that you want to set up in terms of who can merge to what um, is automatically going to be set by creating the project from a template. I'll drop some links of doc into the description of the video as well. So you have that to refer to. Thanks.